welcome to another video and today we're going to be discussing about 7 USMNT players who need to leave MLS okay so let's begin but before we continue I'd like to tell you guys to like and subscribe so you guys can never miss another video so let's continue okay so let's go get start off this video with the first player I know we're going to mention and is James Sands okay so the player from NYCFC or New York City FC is performing decent pretty decent for NYC CFC okay uh, he's a very technical player okay uh, he's mainly a center back and a CDM okay he's best as a center back mainly when used as the middle center back in a back three okay um, as a CDM I believe he is best used when he's with two dual eights okay um, however I believe one he needs many areas of his game need to work on like mostly his aerial duels okay he's not a very dominant player on the air on when it comes to aerial dominance but considering that he was originally meant to be a CDM and later transitioned his game to a center back but I believe he can work that area of his game can get better if he goes to Europe because I believe that with there with better strikers on the air and with better training from coaches I believe he and as well he might become even more athletic he can become a better player okay and a more athletic player to be said to be said okay um James Sands is a very technical player and I believe a league where I like to see James Sands compete in is maybe the La Liga or maybe the Bundesliga or Syria. I believe one of those three can, one of those three can be a perfect home for the James Sands. Okay, James Sands is a very good player. Okay, and if he wants to get most out of his career, I believe he needs to leave MLS. Okay, so now let's go to the next player. So the next player is Kevin Paredes. Okay, so he's very good. Okay, he's a he's I believe he's eight. 18 or 17 years old, I do not know. He's about to be playing in the Revelations Cup, but Lady got entered, okay? And he's about, in. He, I believe he missed the MLS playoffs too because uh, his team didn't qualify, okay? So, uh, very unlucky for Kevin Paredes. Um, however, I believe Kevin Paredes is a player who, that is very good, okay? He's a very good attacking fullback because he was originally meant to be a winger, but later transitioned his game into a left back role, okay? Um, so Kevin Paredes is very good when it comes to attacking, okay? However, his defending needs a little bit of work, okay? He's very good when it comes to tackling when he's with his, when he has help in it from his teammates, but when he is in isolation play, he tends to struggle a lot, okay? Because when defending one on one, he t he tends to bites way too early or bites way too late, okay? And he gets um dribbled past, okay. Uh Ken Brady sometimes needs some work with his positioning as well. And sometimes he tends to make stupid passes, okay? However, I believe with his very good um dribbling prowess and his a very good team team defense, okay, I believe he can become a very good player, okay, but he needs a little bit of work on that, okay? So I so I believe a move to Europe can be can be helpful to him, okay? I believe a in a league that can use a guy like Cam Brady's is the Bundesliga, okay? Let's say a, a club wants to buy Cam Brady's, okay? So they can later transfer him, loan him out to RB Salzburg, or maybe get a trans direct transfer to RB Salzburg, okay? Because RB Salzburg has has been monitoring his progress for Cam Brady's, and hopefully that can become a very good home for him, considering the recent the recent um form of Brendan Harrison he can become as good as a player as Brendan Harrison in his own position okay so yeah now let's go to the next play so the next player is Matt Turner okay this is pretty self-explanatory why I believe Matt Turner is good and very is way too good for MLS okay many people do know that okay because Matt Turner is one of the best goalkeepers in MLS uh, Matt Turner is very athletic. He's tall. Okay, so that means he's a very good shot stopper, and he is very good at um, intercepting crosses from, especially when it comes from aerial crosses. Okay, because con with his height and with his long reach, he can he, he can intercept that. Okay, um, Matt Turner he, he is as well very good with with his distribution when it comes to being with in with his hands, but his distribution with his feet is very questionable okay 
it's one of the it's the biggest weakness of his game by far okay because if you're going to be wanting to build up with Matt Turner well good luck because you're going to have to ball you're going to have to long ball that okay so <laughs> oftentimes you lose possession okay and i believe Matt Turner needs to go to England, okay, the championship or the Premier League, okay, he's 27 years old, and if he wants to get the most out of his career, I believe a direct move to the championship or the Premier League will be good for, good for him, okay, with better coaching and with better and with better everything, he can improve upon his distribution to at least be competent, okay, if he can be competent in the Premier League or in the championship with his distribution, he might be a very good with his distribution when it comes to it on on the national team okay so now let's go to the next player so the next player is Jesus Ferreira okay he is he is a cam slash uh second striker and he can even play the striker position but I think he's best as a cam and second striker okay he's normally the second striker to a player we're gonna mention later in this video okay or the cam to a to again the same player uh Jesus Ferreira is very good at creating for his teammates, okay? Uh, he is very good at when it comes to creating his own chances as well, okay? He's very good at dribbling, okay? Around players, and, he, and his positioning is very good, okay? His, his shooting is as well very good when it comes to finishing off chances. Jesus Ferreira is a very technical player, okay? Uh, I believe he struggles a lot with his aerial dominance but i believe his technique can be good enough for him okay uh what else can i say about about jesus ferreira he's i don't have too much too many bad things to say about him other than maybe he, some some super mistakes here and there but he can see that he's very, performing very good for a club like fc dallas i believe he needs to leave him alas okay he's 20 years old he is at the right moment in his career to just leave MLS, okay, and just try to get his career, try to get the most out of his career, okay, and to challenge for a spot, okay, because I believe Jesus Ferreira is a very talented player that can challenge for any spot in the USMNT as a midfielder, as a striker, or maybe, may, let's say, convince Greg to change formations to a 4 2 3 1, okay. So now let's go to the next player okay oh wait i i forgot to discuss about which position which league would i like to see Jesus Ferreira in i would like to see him in la liga or in the bundesliga okay one of the two even liga okay leagues that would like likely may, may make him a like, like say a a camp or a second shaker okay the bundesliga sometimes since them have many teams that line up in the 4-2-3-1 as well liga so I believe one of those two leagues can work out for him, especially and even La Liga because La Liga is very technical based. Okay, so now let's go to the next player. So the next player in this list is Daryl DK. Okay, so Daryl DK, we all know him. Okay, he dominated. He has dominant. He's been dominant this season for in the MLS for Orlando City. I once on Instagram post lately a couple of days ago where it, I read that Daryl DK scored seven goals. And nine appearances for Orlando City. Look, okay, if you just want to, like, just listen to that. Seven goals in nine games, that is very good, okay? I know some a less and stuff, but still, that is very good, okay? He's very good on, on his athletic ability. He's very athletic, okay? He's very strong. He's very strong. If you want to get the ball off him, well, good luck, because he's going to maybe run you over, okay? Um, He's maybe not going to do that as much if he goes to Europe, but... Still, I believe Daryl DK is very athletic. Okay, he uh, he can be more dominant on the air, but I believe with better coaching and with better positioning, when it comes to being in Europe, I believe that might fix it. Uh, Daryl DK, what else does he struggle with? His passing. Okay, his let's say if you want a long ball ball to Daryl DK. Okay, sometimes he tends to not find the right man. Okay, or sometimes gives up possession. Okay. Uh, however, he is very good at, as a dribbler, okay? He can take on multiple players, like that goal against Martinique, remember, where he took on a bunch of players and just scored a goal like a savage. I know that was against Martinique, but still, I didn't expect him to do that. I didn't know he had that in his, lock in his locker. 
Um, if he can do that, I believe we can just do a simple thing as passing a ball, okay? If there's a league where I like to see Daryl Deacon in is in, the, is in a Premier League Championship or in the City A, one of those three leagues, especially the City A, because he, he has had many interests from the from many clubs in City A, like for Fiorentina and Venezia, okay? So now let's go to the next player. So the next player on this um list is Miles Robinson, okay? So the player from Atlanta United is playing a big role for for them, okay? He's a very athletic um defender, okay? He let, look he can make tackles out of nowhere, okay? Like he is a very good tackler, he's pretty decent in the air. However, one area of his game two areas of his game that are weak is his passing and his positioning, okay? Let's begin with first with his passing, okay? Let's say that play against Costa Rica where he gave up the ball to the Costa Rican um to the Costa Rican team and Brian Ruiz was one on one versus the goalkeeper. He still managed to get to Brian Ruiz and tackle him, which was amazing, okay? And he has been doing many of those plays in the World Cup as well. However, okay, once you are in Europe you won't be able to do those plays as much as often okay because there's obviously going to be more athletic players over there there's going to be um more there's going to be better finishers okay this even there's going to be more finishers that's the thing that is more important okay um miles Robinson as well is struggles a lot with his positioning okay sometimes he is way too high sometimes he's way too low so, okay he needs to find a way to improve upon his positioning okay because if Mal Robinson wants to succeed in Europe, he needs to improve upon those things, okay? And I believe with better coaching, with better training, I believe we can improve upon that, okay? Leagues that I'd like to see him in is the Premier League, the Championship, the Scottish Premiership, or Liga. A, a place where he can use his um, athleticism and dominate, okay? And most most importantly, improve upon his technique and his positioning, okay? So now, let's continue. So the final player on this list is Ricardo Pepe, okay? This should have been obvious from the start, okay? Ricardo Pepe is an amazing talent, okay? Ricardo Pepe, look at he's a very nice player. He has a, had a, he has, um, he has had an interest from many clubs, like, from, like, from Manchester United and Liverpool to Ajax, he has had a, he has had an interest from Dortmund and Bayern. He has had an interest from some City A clubs as well. Um, however, I believe there's some, there are, there are some certain leagues where I think he can get the most out of his talents. Okay, so I believe the Bundesliga and the City A, and let's say if Ajax, like let's say they don't want ha Sebastian Haller no more, I believe he can work out there. Okay, so yeah. Okay, I, w I wouldn't suggest him to go to Ajax because they obviously have Sebastian Haller. I wouldn't suggest him to go to Bayern or Dortmund because they have Robert Lewandowski and and Holland, Holland respectively. So I believe he needs to go to a, to a team that will be needing a striker, okay? So let's say Dortmund sell Holland. I believe a transfer to Dortmund might be perfect for him, okay? He needs to be patient, okay? Uh, Ricardo Pepe, he is very good as a poacher. He's very good at finishing off chances. Uh, Ricardo Pepe, as well, is, is a pretty technical player himself. Sometimes he needs a little bit of work with his passing because obviously FC Dallas are a team that sh do not have too many position, too much possession, and sometimes he gives up the ball away in dumb areas of the ball of the of the field. Okay, um, Ricardo Pepe, I believe he needs to work on his. A little bit on his aerial play okay sometimes there are, there are times where in the national team where I see Ricardo Pepe just struggling in the air especially against like teams like Costa Rica uh, where he couldn't win the ball on the air too much but I believe with more improvements on this area of his game I believe that might work out for him his positioning sometimes needs a little bit of work too okay sometimes these He's not even in the play, okay? Sometimes he's just waiting in the box, okay? He some he needs to sometimes go um work for his um goals, okay? So yeah. So now let's finish off the video by saying thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.